Hey everyone, today let's talk about how much time you might be able to save at the park using Cedar Fair's fast lane option. Okay, so I just recently went to Kings Island. We used the fast lane option, and I wanna just give you a rundown of our whole day and what we rode and how much time we saved per ride and how much time we saved in total. This way, you'll be able to determine whether spending the extra money for the fast lane option is worth it or not. I don't wanna tell you if it's worth it. I wanna give you the information and then let you make that decision. So I've used the fast lane option at a number of different Cedar Fair parks. We've used it at Cedar Point, we've used it at Carowinds, and then the example today is going to be at Kings Island. So I think that the time saving that I'm gonna give you here with the example of Kings Island can kind of be transferred to Carowinds and can be applicable to uh, Cedar Point as well and probably a number of different other um, Cedar Fair parks. But this specific example will be about Kings Island. All right, so this is how we're going to do it. So if we are just walking through the line, that is not going to count as time waiting in line if we're just walking straight through. It's also not gonna count if we're just waiting in the stall to get onto the next ride. It's only gonna count as waiting in line if we're standing behind somebody actually waiting for them to move up. The next thing is we are using the posted wait times. So I looked on the app as soon as we got into line to see how long the regular standby line was and then I timed how long it actually took for us using the fast lane to get on the ride. So the posted wait times traditionally are posted a little bit longer than what they actually are. So we're gonna subtract five minutes from each of the posted wait times. Okay, and then one more point to this is, again, I've used this at a number of different Cedar Fair parks. You want to definitely pick this option only on days where you think it's going to be busy, on weekends, on holidays, you know, times like that. Don't use it on a random Tuesday near the end of the season where people are going back to school. The I've done that before, unfortunately, I bought fast lane and sometimes the fast lane line is just the same as the standby line, you end up actually wasting that money because it doesn't save you any time at all. The example, again, I'm using here at Kings Island is going to be for one of the busier days. All right, so let's get right into it. First thing we did right out of the gate, as soon as we got to the park, we rode one of the biggies, we rode Banshee. The posted wait time in the standby line was 20 minutes, so we're gonna knock that down and say it's actually 15 minutes, just because we're anticipating that they overestimate just a little bit. We waited exactly four minutes, so we ended up saving 16 minutes there in line. Next, we went right over to drop zone. The posted wait time was 30 minutes, we'll call it 25. We waited five minutes, we saved 20 minutes there. Adventure Express, posted time was 30 minutes, we'll call it 25. We waited five minutes, again, saving 20 minutes. We went to the racer next after this. 20 minutes was the posted wait time, we'll call it 15. We waited exactly three minutes, I timed it down to the minute. We saved 12 minutes there. Uh, outer limits, the posted wait time was 45 minutes. Now this line, even the fast lane line was moving very, very slow. So we'll call it 40 minutes, but we actually, even in the fast lane line, and we don't know why, maybe the ride broke down, we didn't hear that, but we waited 30 minutes. So we still saved 10 minutes, but we were in line for quite a long time to ride our outer limits. Next we rode Orion, and we actually rode it two times in a row. Posted wait time was 45 minutes and the, we're gonna call it 40 minutes, we waited eight minutes, so we saved a total of 32 minutes twice, so 64 minutes, a little over an hour was saved here. Next, we took it down a notch, we rode the antique cars, 20 minutes was the po posted wait time, uh, 15 minutes we'll call it, we waited four minutes, we saved 11 minutes on the antique cars, we next rode the Backlot Stunt Coaster. 45 minutes was the posted wait time for this. this is a, that's a long wait for this ride. 40 minutes is what we're gonna call it. We waited three minutes. We saved 37 minutes here, and then we took a break. We went, had lunch, uh, sat down, got in the air conditioning for a little bit, cooled off, and then we went right back out to it. Hit Mystic Timbers, 30 minutes was the posted wait. We'll call it 25. Four minutes is what we waited. We saved a total of 21 minutes there. Diamondback had a 30 minute wait, we'll call it 25. We waited exactly nine minutes, so we saved 16 minutes here. We rode 
a kitty ride surf dog. Uh, we were we had to guess on what the line would be here. There it didn't actually show up in the app. We made it exactly two minutes. We think it was about a 15 minute wait, so we're just going to call it 13 minutes saved for surf dog. The next and last thing we did right before we left, we were coming right out the front of the park, is we hit Boo Blasters. That was a 50 minute wait. So we're gonna call it 45 minutes. We waited exactly six minutes. So we saved 39 minutes with Boo Blasters. All right, so here are the totals. Okay, so our total wait time for all of these rides was 83 minutes, so one hour and 23 minutes. If we would have waited in all of these standby lines, we would have waited 325 minutes or five hours and 25 minutes. So we saved four hours and two minutes by using the express lane. Now the express lane is going to add about $100, again, depending on the day, extra to your ticket, which is sometimes two times what your ticket actually costs. So it's a very big expense. But if saving that amount of time is worthwhile to you, it might be worth doing, again, on a busy day. Another point is we had the Fast Lane Plus, which is why we could do all of the rides and Orion two times in a row. And we also weren't at the park for very long. We got there at about 11, we left at about four. If you were trying to do all these rides, you would have to stay there much, much longer, basically from open to close probably, and you still might not be able to get all of this done. So it actually allowed us to get more done quicker and kind of be on our way. We were spent after riding all of these rides. So uh, if time is very, very important to you, you might wanna check out Fastlane. I hope this helps make your decision. Everyone take care.